Hi students, you're watching this video because I want you to actually work with me on something that I call directional check-ins. Uh, I think that I would be able to help you more if every time I gave you a direction or asked a question that you actually replied to me to let me know what you understood and where you are. So from now on in class, if you hear me say the words rebels check-in, what I mean by that is I expect you to tell me what is it that I just told you to do? What is the next thing you're supposed to be doing? Or if I just ask the question, I need you to make sure that you answer that question, right? So for example, if it's the start of class and I just said, I want everybody to open lesson two of unit two and work on the lab on diffusion and osmosis, right? Rebels, please check in. You're supposed to go and send me a message uh, it, uh, that says, uh, I need to work on the diffusion lab from unit two, lesson two. That way I know ex that you know what you're supposed to be doing. If I ask a question for the whole class, like what is your opinion on the video we've just watched? Rebels, make sure you give it to me. That means that I want you to answer that question in private to me. Even if I pick on a specific student and say, Jonathan, uh, what is your opinion? I might still want you to do it as well. So I might say, Jonathan, what's your opinion? Rebels, I want yours too, right? Because I want to make sure you're not lost. I want to make sure you're not left behind. I want to make sure you always feel like you understand what you need to do. And I want to reassure you that I am not going to think less of you if you are confused, if you ask for help. And that you can do that even if I don't prompt you to check in. Anytime that you feel lost or confused, ask me for help. The rule of thumb is if you spend more than three minutes thinking about something and not knowing what to do or what to write down or what your next step is, right, you should ask me. That means you should probably have a timer with you so that you can watch your time go by. Because if you really start to do something and you set for like five minutes and then after five minutes you haven't done anything, you should be asking for help. But if I check in with you, please, please check in because that will help me understand if you know what's up. Right. This is called checks for understanding. And it's really important for me that you engage with me on this. Now, if you're the kind of student that, that, that feels shy about asking for help, either because you feel that you're going to get judged and it, it's a bad thing to be asked for, asked for help. I wouldn't say it isn't. OK. One of the hallmarks of successful people is that they know when to ask for help. A growth mindset is, is one that accepts failure, accepts that that making mistakes is part of the growth process. When you're learning to ride a bicycle, you fall a lot more than you actually stand on. The same thing when you're walking, but eventually you do it without thinking. But you got to go through all those mistakes. The same is with learning anything else. So don't feel embarrassed when you make mistakes. And just like you usually need help to, to walk or to ride a bicycle, you so often need somebody else to show you how to do it, to model it for you, to help you through it. It is okay to ask for help. In fact, that is part of a growth mindset, learning when you need help. And if you just kind of want to figure it out on your own and that's why you're not asking for help, that's fine. But don't take too long to figure it out on your own. And I promise you, if that's what you want, I will not just give you the answer when you ask for help. I will give you hints. I will ask you questions to get you to think about what you need to be doing instead of just giving you the result. Because then you don't learn, right? It's not me that has to ride the bicycle. It's you. So please, you are now a rebel. If you hear the words rebel check in, make sure that you please check in with me. I appreciate that, and I hope we can work together. Let me know what you think about this.